About one month ago, beachgoer Marissa Geiger witnessed a green sea turtle laying eggs on Panama City Beach off of Front Beach Road. In that same spot yesterday, she watched its very last hatchling leave the nest. It was exciting because I got to actually witness the mother lay the eggs on August the 1st. The eggs hatched on Thursday, and Panama City Beach Turtle Watch performed their excavation yesterday. We wait three days after the main emergent, and we dig it up, and we look for the success of the nest. And if there's any live hatchings, we'll put them in a cooler, and we'll release them later on at night into the water. The conservation team drew a crowd of excitement as they performed their dig. I love sea turtles, and I've loved them all my life. Uh, I think it's going to head out for the ocean and let it be free. It's really educational and I just just from reading on their information today to kind of get ready for this I was just really intrigued by how the battle of this because of the the storm wave surge and stuff and that thunderstorm you all had earlier or something how some of them aren't successful hatching and stuff but I didn't realize there was that much behind it, you know, but it's uh, it's really interesting and fun to learn about it. Assistant Coordinator Nancy Aval says this hatching season did take a tough hit from Tropical Storm Barry, with high surf flooding all of Panama City Beach's nest at the time. Uh, we did lose first 33 to either wash out or wash over, so we lost seven to total wash out and we had the rest were partial patchings or just total fail. It depends on how far along the development was when the storm came. But she also says the marine reptiles have compensated for that loss, with this season ranking second largest in total hatchings. They can lay three to seven times in one season. So if we get a storm in early in the season, they'll continue laying throughout the season. Yesterday, Eval and her team recorded 129 eggshell remains, a handful of whole eggs that failed to hatch, two deceased hatchlings, and one live sea turtle they escorted back to the Gulf. I would say it really keeps our community together and helps us come together and clean the, the beaches and keep the beaches really clean. Um, we need a little bit more word about getting the word out there about the tents being left, things being left that could harm the marine life. And so um, I just kind of feel like as a community, we all need to come together and so that we can help these endangered species. Now the season is wrapping up next month, and despite Tropical Storm Barry, there are a few more nests with hatchlings expected. If you see a sea turtle or a hatchling along the beach, you're asked to call Panama City Beach Police. In Bay County, for News 13, I'm Amber Spradley, Panhandle Strong.